I did see that these bearings were in good shape, so I'm not going to replace them. Typically though, if this was a customer's unit, uh, a set of main bearings is incredibly cheap. So we will replace them every time. Uh, why not? Now when we put these in, we don't want to lubricate the back of the bearing or the, the main board itself. You'll have oil trapped between the bearing and give you some funky uh, clearance issues. Now there is a little tang right here. You can see a tang, a tang, and a tang. That lines up with, we come to focus, the tang on this here. Okay, that tang is going to keep it in the exact spot it wants to be, this way and that way, and just make sure it's level on both sides. I'm going to throw the other bearings in here, give them a quick wipe with a clean rag before we do so. This guy lined up with that tang. He's in his hole. Away we go. One last one. Again, clean rag, get him in there. Where'd we put him in? Beautiful, there they are. And then just because I touched it with my fingers, I give him another quick wipe. Once they're in there, we can take our crankshaft, make sure it's nice and clean, and we're going to drop it in straight from above. Now actually, before we put our crankshaft in, we're going to make sure we have our upper thrust bearings installed first. So we actually have these thrust bearings here that fit in a groove on this main cap. There's one on the outside, there's one on the inside. The flat side will go towards the block, the one with the grooves will go towards the rotating component, make sure it has oil. We want to make sure that's in there before we drop our crank in. Because as you can see, once we drop that crank in, it's very difficult to get to them. Now on the actual cap itself, you'll also have the mating surface here cut out to take thrust washers as well. And they'll snap in. So you want to make sure that these are all installed before you get too carried away. Uh, during the assembly. I like to give them a good spin. I'm going to make sure a little bit of oil on there. There's oil on everything. Give them a nice little spin. Make sure nothing's binding. And now we have to make a couple more checks. I'm going to have to install the main caps now into here. I'm going to have to make the last check and we actually want to check our crankshaft end plate back and forth just like we did with the cam. To do that we'll have to make sure our thrust washers are installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these caps on. Don't have to do it on camera, though there is a bearing in here as well. It's lined up. I'll zip them on and then we'll come back and check crankshaft end play together.